today is Tuesday and I am starting another vlog. Well, this is me trying to start another vlog um, where I show you my preparations for uh, Paris, which I go to in, on Friday. Um, but first I wanted to show you my sort of workout and take you along for the week as I prepare. This is my sort of outfit. I usually go to the gym, but I don't have time today because I had a 7 a.m. meeting. Um, glories of a global role but yeah this is it i'm wearing a tala sort of like top and then some like shorts from asos excuse all of this here and here like the realities of a box room <laughs> So I've just done this, which is the full body cardio um, routine from the app Shreddy. I've used this app for about a year, maybe two now, and it's great. So I'll just show you what it is. And then you just do a sort of like circuit for two circuits, three times round. And you think it's like, oh, it's only 30 seconds. This will be easy, but it's, uh, it is tough. Ooh. Hello, welcome back to another day it's the day after uh, yesterday's clips i was literally just spent at working all day so nothing really that interesting but in the evening i went to the hair shop quickly to pick up some bits so i thought i'd show you that but also i got some stuff from asos and tala as well that i thought i would show you to just to show you basically so i'll start with like my hair shop stuff um, which is just a few re-ups of some, of some things. So I've been needing new wig caps for a while and I tend to go for the dark brown ones. And these are just like one ninety nine. Um, if anyone's in South East London, there is a black owned hair shop in Sydney, which I go to. I think they're more expensive than, um, other ones, but to support the community i always tend to go there and it's also the closest so it's called essence of nature as well um so you can see see that essence of nature so yeah i got a stocking wig cap because i needed some new ones i also bought some shampoo from the aunt jackie range i swear by this range i love it and i hope tend to go for the moisturizing and softening shampoo because i have quite dry hair and one of my sort of like goals for this year is to actually look after my hair a lot better because I just slack on it um especially um and because I can't be bothered I tend to just shave it off and I'm trying not to do that this year so yeah another re-up I've gotten is the leave-in conditioner from again from the Anne Jackie range again I swear by this I love this leave-in conditioner it leaves it soft it's not too greasy it's not too heavy and you can sort of like apply it every day without it being too greasy and gross um then i also got the strength and shine leave-in conditioner from cream of nature this is again something i love to use but especially on my wigs light um not too heavy and then just leaves your hair looking shiny um so this is it as well which i think has got an, a rebrand i actually got this from superdrug because my Hair shop didn't have it, but this is great. I've got the Eco Styler Gel, uh, the coconut oil version. They usually have a green one, but they didn't have that this time. So I thought I'd go for coconut oil um, to help in terms of just nourishing it. But I just need a tub of this because there doesn't seem to be any in my house. And I quite like to have one for myself. So that is it in terms of like... The hair shop stuff and then in super drug i also i've lost like my powder brush i used to use a really big fluffy one from kiko milano but i can't seem to find that after i've washed it so i went in and just picked up this uh powder brush which is the 201 from real techniques which is great 
I like everyone knows how great the real techniques brushes are um, and they're also just like available everywhere so they're a good one to pick up on the last minute whim. I'm going to Paris in a few days so I'm actually looking forward to going to Sephora and unleashing some havoc in Sephora and buying some stuff. I haven't bought beauty stuff in ages and I'm looking to just spruce up my um my makeup routine because yeah I'm a bit bored of all the stuff that I'm using um so yeah let me know if you want like a tiktok or something of my makeup routine it's very basic and it's a lot less steps it's very much no makeup makeup slightly elevated as I said I'm going to Paris and I have no clothes I hate everything I have I have in my wardrobe but I did a huge clear out in both 2020 and 2021 of like my clothes and it's the typical thing where you like give away a ton of clothes uh, because you're like I'm over this I'm grown and then you imagine those outfits with clothes you no longer have and you're like oh my god I completely forgot but also it's just really difficult to shop nowadays especially on ASOS which everything is like sold out in a size 10 and 12 which is very frustrating because that's my size or everything's just wildly expensive and I can't justify it there's just a lot of clothing buying guilt like I have so much like purchase guilt that I just don't buy anything and it's just ridiculous because now I have nothing to wear and every time I want to go out I have a meltdown because I have nothing to wear I can buy gym wear perfectly fine like I will buy gym wear no matter what but for clothes I just can't find anything so yeah let me know where you like to shop and I found some stuff in Monkey which I really like so I'm hoping to like buy some stuff after Paris when I know more about like my money situation but yeah anyway back to the haul part of the video so one of the places that i bought some stuff from is tala so they recently had a launch of their sort of like day flex range which is clothing that is good enough to do like low impact exercises so abs but also good enough to like go to brunch or go shopping all that kind of things um and i really like their range to have like a yoga pant that i'm really hoping to get when they relaunch it soon and then also like a v-shaped like legging which also will be in my basket when i have the chance um but the things i got because a lot of the things sold out really quickly i was on the website i think i like 605 and the things i wanted were majority sold out already so yeah i'm hoping i'm fast enough next time but two things i managed to buy are one a sports bra which is what is it called I bought the Dayflex V-neck sports bra in shadow black and I bought it in the size small. I have a few Tala things already and I have them in medium. One thing, like Tala's sizing is a bit off uh, for me anyway because I have like a small waist but bigger hips and like a small waist but wider shoulders and like thick ish arms so they always say if you're in between sizes size down but the medium is a size 10 to 12 and i'm in the me middle of a 10 and a 12 so i thought i would donate to size down this will be perfect but then the waist on tops too loose and then the waist on trousers too loose but everywhere else perfectly fit um so for things like jumping jacks all that kind of stuff everything's just the tops ride up the trousers ride down and it's a bit um annoying just to deal with in the gym so i'm not sure i might have to pass that down to my sister um but we'll see what happens but i might keep it just because you know weight fluctuates all the time but anyway long story short i went for a small in this bra because i thought if the waist is too big on a medium then it'll be too big for the bra so i'm gonna try this bra in the small and see how it fits i'm like a c to d but i'm hoping that this works i don't like um on the wide bras so too uncomfortable they dig into your ribs after a while so i'm hoping this will be really comfortable to wear as like just a normal bra especially on my days working from home where i just want to be comfortable i like with everything there's the tala logo at the back then the other thing i managed to buy is this uh 
is the volley sweatshirt from the same from the same range oh this is in shadow black again i thought this would be a lot blacker than it is but it's a dark gray it's a dark gray in real life but i really like the logo which is like this swirly sort of for like 70s 60s inspired logo i really like this it's a really good quality it's really soft it's got like a little fleece lining included and if i like this on i'm gonna like wear it on friday when i travel to paris just to be comfortable and warm and i think with like a thermal underneath and a coat i should be fine and i really really like it i got this in a size medium um so it might be quite oversized but i quite like the oversized look as well and i think you could probably also get away with like wearing this with like some tailored trousers as well that's all my tarn stuff like i said at the beginning of this haul i just have nothing to wear nothing to wear and i'm sick of having a meltdown every time i have to go out and being like i have nothing to wear like i'm gonna do another wardrobe clear out i have so many boots like heeled boots that i don't wear and are not really that practical with my lifestyle my boyfriend likes to walk everywhere so being in heel boots that pinch my toes or just are not comfortable for longer than about an hour or so just doesn't make sense so i'll probably just put those in depop or send them to my cousins abroad um and then hopefully with the money and just making some more considered choices i can start to pull put some things back into my wardrobe um as well so one of the things that i bought uh is a leather skirt it's just something i've been missing in my wardrobe after i did my clear out and it's also i've realized one of my favorite pieces for winter we are now in february so i probably won't get that much wear out of it but with english weather it's still cold until like pretty much may so i should probably get a bit of wear out of it but i got this skirt from the asos design collection and it's just this straight like a-line skirt with a bit oh i'm showing you the back am i showing you the back i'm not sure if i'm showing you the back but no i don't think i am it's because there's pockets oh this is weird well yeah this is the leather skirt a-line cut uh sort of zip at the front nice and subtle not too much um hardware i'm a gold hardware but on leather i'm fine to have it silver and then it has like uh pockets here which are cut in like a v v shape so that's why i'm a bit confused about whether this is the front or the back but i think this is the front so there's this then i'm also really loving the whole jumper dress uh situation this is what i bought this is from miss selfridge and i got this in a size medium and i got the skirt sorry i got the skirt i got the skirt in a uk 12 just to accommodate my bum but hopefully the waist isn't too big but we shall see so this is the dress from miss selfridge i will of course do a cutaway and it's sort of like baggy at the top and then it has this um sort of elasticated sheared waistline that you can see hopefully no sheared waistlining that sort of pulls you in at the waist and then sort of clings to your hips so it should give you a really balanced hourglass shape and i have high hopes for this this would look really good with some knee-high boots maybe in tan like a brown tanny suede boot um so yeah i'm hoping this looks good too and then last but not least ooh, hopefully my lips don't look too dry or too chapped it's because they feel it Last, i have no clue why they sent this massive box Oh my god, these are huge. Now I know why, because these are huge. <laughs> okay, so I bought some, I really like the sort of 
elongated Chelsea boot uh, sort of shoe trend that is happening. That's been happening for the last few years. Um, and this is very much like Bottega inspired with the wave sort of like sole across it and the chunky sole too. And I just wanted the pair again. I walk a lot. I can't do heeled boots anymore. Um, so yeah, I just wanted a pair of heeled, no, flat boots that uh, are hopefully not too heavy. I have Doc Martens, but they're in a vinyl leather and I just have not broken them in and they're just very uncomfortable and very heavy to walk. So I thought this would be a good sort of alternative to it. I genuinely didn't think they would be this big of a boot. Like this is massive. Also, I have size eight feet <laughs> and I'm only five foot seven, which is insane but Patricia Bright is also tiny and she's got massive feet so it must be just a Nigerian thing <laughs> oh, how I wish for size six feet every single day life would be so much easier but yes hopefully this don't look too chunky on my feet I will try them on and we'll show you um, because they look really cool but if they make my feet look humongous which they very well might do these are going straight back or if they're just uncomfortable these are going straight back and these are from shoe s-c-h-u-h yes they are the shoe anastasia chunky calf boot in black so yeah i'll sh let you know how i get on with these so this is my sort of very disorganized haul but i will show you what i take for paris my sort of like aim for paris is to buy a lot more clothes over there like hopefully the zara's are really good hopefully there's like weekdays and all that kind of stuff and that maybe it's also cheaper over there than it is over here um i will be vlogging paris as well um so that uh, look forward to that but yeah i don't even know why i'm trying to sign off i'll probably see you tomorrow so yeah see you then hello it's the next day it's a thursday and i'm getting ready to pack to go to paris it's been such a hectic day finally logged off from work and don't have to think about that for the next few days and behind me you can see the clothes that i'm about to pack for paris uh, like i said i have found getting dressed so difficult lately uh it's just any new clothes basically i tried a few of the stuff that i showed you yesterday um and most of it was crap yeah the boots were just too big they made my feet look massive um the tala sweatshirt was just a weird shape it's like a triangle so really big shoulders but then goes in really tapered in at the waist um which is not how it was advertised online so i think i may have gotten a bad batch possibly worst did i buy Oh, the skirt was a perfect fit and I'm taking that with me. Um, but yeah, I thought I would walk you through my sort of like packing process. I just want to say thank you so much for watching my vlog, first vlog. Uh, probably wasn't that interesting. Um, it's hard to vlog when you're just working all day. But I'm taking you along to Paris and yeah. I'll show you how that goes so please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next one bye